Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long while since I've been to HomeSense. It's probably one of my most favorite places in the world. So I thought I would drop in today, see what they've got going on. As you know, with HomeSense, it can just be hit and miss. So I've gone like midday on a Wednesday, fingers crossed. I have no idea when they get their deliveries and stuff, but fingers crossed there'll be some good stuff. I'm expecting a lot of cute Easter stuff. Um, yeah, and there are two things I actually need. One of them is cutlery. Um, we don't have enough cutlery. I've been looking at stuff online, but everything just looks a bit cheapy online. So I wanna be able to actually go and look at stuff in person. Um, and the second thing, being sugar-free syrup so um home sense and tk max do those massive kind of bottles of sugar-free syrup which i love in my coffee so i'm gonna go get a couple of those because we've run out um and just have a browse you know um i asked you guys if you wanted me to do a bit of a kind of mini lounge transformation people seem to be very interested in that so I will um yeah have a little browse see if I can find anything I like in there maybe like a rug some throw cushions <sighs> I may have to not tell Steve that I bought anything I just surprise him um anyway another question I wanted to ask you guys so I'm very aware that when I started this channel it was very much kind of like fashion just like lifestyle beauty that kind of thing and it's evolved quite a lot and I'm a little bit worried that maybe if some of you guys are here for fashion stuff and I'm doing loads of home stuff loads of DIY decor stuff and if you're not here for that is that kind of irritating for you um I basically just want to get an idea do you guys want all of this content in one place so literally fashion hair makeup lifestyle travel DIY home renovation projects literally everything do you want me to just keep it on this one channel or I'm kind of toying with the idea of creating a different channel specifically for um any of our property renovation projects any kind of home updates DIY all of that kind of jazz and then this channel will just be purely um fashion and beauty and kind of lifestyle stuff so yeah let me know if we do create another channel steve is really keen to get involved as well so if anyone is a steve fan out there you'll be able to get your daily dose of steve um yeah let me know leave a comment um in the comment section down below and let me know if you'd rather just have it all on one channel or separate them out a little bit um yeah either way potentially exciting that we want to do like a bit more home stuff but i'm going to start start waffling stop waffling now and just head into home sense getting a lot of funny looks in the car park so i will see you in there so as soon as i stepped in of course they had lots of really really cute bits of garden furniture every time i come in here i see one of these egg chairs and one day i will get one but i love this kind of wicker one i didn't think 250 was such a bad price compared to what i've seen before but i know that bnm have really similar ones for a lot cheaper and this four piece garden set I've seen a few times as well, but again, I absolutely love this kind of wicker with the black legs. So that was 650 for the whole set. Again, not the cheapest, and you probably could find cheaper elsewhere, but I did think it was really, really unique. This faux plant was really cute as well and a really good size to have. That was £25. They had so many planters. I was really drawn to these concrete print ones. The large one was £20, the smaller ones was £15. They had so many of them, as you can see, because obviously we're coming into like spring, summertime. I think they've just massively stocked up. I also love this kind of stone fleck effect one, which was £15. And then I also spotted these stone ones, which had little wooden feet on, which I thought were really cute. And they were £15 each as well. I grabbed this because I've been looking for something really similar to this to potentially have a plant kind of go outside our front door. And that was £20, which is really good for the size that you get. Faux plants are literally a must have because I can't keep plants alive. There were so many to choose from. I got really drawn to this fern in a concrete pot. It was finished really nicely. It had like gravel in the top. It looked really real. 15 pounds for the whole thing, which is a great price, but they had 
loads of kind of different ones in different style pots, different colours and different plants as well. I also love this square concrete planter. That was £15 and these copper planters were beautiful. I don't have anywhere where these would go in my house but I just thought they were so pretty. £10 for the one without the feet which is great. That stone pot from earlier, I found it in a grey flat colour, which is far more my kind of style. That again was £15, but so pretty. As promised, of course, HomeSense had loads of Easter stuff. I've got to be honest, I don't actually decorate for Easter, but I did think these were really cool. They had so many different Easter egg kind of reefs, and they were all different sort of sorts of prices, ranging from like £15 up to £30. Loads of different kind of sizes different colors loads of different little ornaments as well i loved this egg because it reminded me of the game of thrones eggs um a nice little pearlescent one that was only five pounds which isn't too bad either of course if you've got kids i think it makes way more sense to kind of decorate but it's just not something that we really do i also spotted these garden benches which i thought were so cute nice to add a little pop of color these were 50 pounds each and probably really low maintenance because they are metal. This plant is exactly what I've been looking for to go right by my front door. This was 50 pounds, which I thought was a little bit steep, but I did love it. And I also love this tall cream planter as well. That was 20 pounds, which I thought was really good value. This is what I came for, syrups. <laughs> These two chairs were in the clearance section and I thought they were both amazing. This pink one said it was 230, but it didn't say the clearance price, but I thought it was so cute. And this office chair as well, I thought was really nice, hundred pounds, but it has that really nice kind of leather wood expensive look. One problem I find with office chairs is HomeSense never seems to have two of them, but then I did spot these grey ones, which I thought were really, really nice. They were £60 each, which is a bit more affordable. And this kind of grey leather effect material was really, really soft. As per usual, plenty of kind of faux flowers. A lot of them seem to be around the kind of like three, four pound mark for one stem. Um, so that can easily kind of add up, but they are still a really great option and loads of variety to choose from. They literally had a massive stand of all these um, floor standing glass vases as well. I was obsessed with this one. It was in the clearance for £12, which I thought was great. I'm just a little bit concerned that Rocky could potentially knock it over. I also spotted these hangers, which was so cute. So it's a little concrete pot on a rope with this faux plant in it. I've been looking for something like this to go by my front door potentially. They had a couple which were £13 each. This section normally overwhelms me, but I did take a look today. Helpful that it is all kind of like colour coded, but I did spot this blue glass tray. Again, great to get a pop of colour in there and really good pricing at £10. I gravitated towards this black vase because, I mean, that's clearly my comfort zone. That was six pounds for a small vase. Onto the kind of art section. So I love the art from HomeSense, but tip is that you are gonna need to rummage and find some good stuff. I did see that there was a lot of kind of like gold foil stuff seems to be really in. Loved this one, but couldn't even get it out because it was so far at the back, wedged in. I also saw this Time to Shine print, which was so pretty with the gold gilding and it's kind of ripped paper effect for £20. And this was kind of next to it as well. They're kind of matching, but not. But to get the print and the whole frame together for 20 quid is amazing. This was also so unique. I loved it. Wasn't a fan of the frame, but you could easily paint that out. And these were also absolutely beautiful. They were massive as well. So £50 is definitely worth it. I've been really drawn to this kind of like fluid water kind of print at the moment. And this one was really unique with the whole circle kind of print. I'm not gonna lie, I was so tempted to get this one. So this was huge, it's 50 pounds. But again, it's just so unique. It has this like ripped paper effect. There was so much detail in it. There's gold gilding, kind of watercolor effect. I just loved it. And again, here we have two more prints, really, really big prints, 30 quid each, including the frames. 
I thought these would make such a cute little gift for a dog lover. These were £15 each, but they just looked really handmade. So this mirror I was drawn to, obviously, because it's black and most of my home decor is black, but really nice kind of contemporary box frame for £20. And then I spotted this and I thought it was so unique. I actually had to kind of get someone to help me get it out, but it was so worth it. It's kind of like a gilded bamboo effect mirror. It was still a really good size and it was £30. And I honestly, I wish that I had have gotten this because I've never seen anything like this before and I loved it. Home Sense is also great if you want to pick up some really different kind of like handles or knobs to go on cabinets or wardrobes. They had loads of marble ones. They were generally about the kind of six pound mark, but there were so many different variations to choose from, different colors. I was just really drawn towards all the kind of gray marble effect square ones, but you can definitely mix and match them as well. At the end of the day, it's very much potluck what you are going to find, but it's so worth having a rummage. I always scout the mirror section as well because I've picked up some awesome bargains from here before. I saw this kind of oak frame mirror. This looked so expensive. It was £100, which I know isn't dirt cheap, but for this type of mirror, I honestly thought that was a bargain. One tip is always check the clearance because they had this print that was reduced to 15 pounds. So this was half price only because the wrapper was already open. They seem to have a lot of this kind of black and gold lighting. I love these little kind of tiny side lamps. These were 13 pounds each, which was really cheap. And then they also had these kind of matching bigger kind of pillar lamp bases as well. So these were 25 pounds and that included the lampshade. Another floor vase, this was so pretty. It's like a bluey gray, 30 pounds. I love the rug section. You find so many kind of unique rugs in this area. I fell in love with this one, really wanted it, um, but I looked at the price tag and it was 50 pounds. And I can see why it is that price, but it was just a bit out of my budget. I found this one, which was on the cheaper side, similar kind of size and similar design. This was only 13 pounds. So I actually ended up getting this one. I also found this one a little bit more loud, but this would be great in like a kid's bedroom. And I found it underneath. You have to rummage because this was in the clearance for £13. This rug here is very similar size and style to the one in our kitchen, but this one was £50, which I'm a bit annoyed because that's literally half the price of what we paid for ours. And again, this one, really nice kind of neutral colours as well. That was reduced to £51 as well, which is great pricing for such a big kind of rug. I always check out the pillow section and it's so helpful they have it colour coded, um, but I didn't really find anything that was right for what I wanted. This was amazing quality, it would be great to have. It's like a showstopper on a table, £17. This just looked great with just some vases on it, really nice kind of glasses, anything really. And then I also spotted this little kind of wicker one, which again, I thought would be great. It's like a little tidy tray. So this was eight pounds, but you could put anything on there like TV flickers on a coffee table, just something to kind of keep it a bit more tidy. I hunted for cutlery. This was the only one that I found I liked, but the gold won't go in my house. These were reduced to 14 pounds, which is such a good price. Also picked up this tray and I couldn't leave this behind because it was only five pounds. So that went in my trolley. This tray was also really cute, reduced to eight pounds. Just a nice kind of unique warm tone tray. And I also like these plates, but there were two missing. Um, they were reduced to two pounds 50, but I just like the print on them. I got drawn to this kind of white wicker storage system, but it was 40 pounds, which I thought was a little bit steep. These trolleys are very similar to Ikea ones. These are 50 pounds, but these are like much bigger than the Ikea ones, would make a perfect little kind of like drinks cart. I wish my hallway was bigger because I fell in love with this. It would be such a cute hallway bench, really nice kind of wicker rattan style. 50 quid isn't too bad. 
they have these in here literally every single time I come in. They have so many of them. They're a hundred pound kind of storage units for the bathroom, but they do have a marble top on them, which is obviously why they're so expensive, but they do tend to have a lot of different colors and styles as well. I can never resist the wicker basket section. I absolutely love it. There are so many nice ones. So this big one here was £25. They also had a smaller one on the inside, which was a little bit cheaper. I dragged this one down because again, I really, really love that kind of slightly more gray tone. This would make a great blanket basket or toy basket, £25. I also spotted this throw rug. I mean, this is just me all over, white, black. It was so cute. And that was £25. And I was really tempted to get that as well. It was really, really nice quality. A nice kind of just light throw over quilt. They also had plenty of storage jars. These all kind of were around the six pound mark. I liked this white one. I also got really drawn to this darker gray one as well. Again, guys, rummage because this was hidden right at the bottom. This is such a beautiful chopping board with the marble and the gold. This was only £15, which I actually think is incredible for a marble chopping board. And then on my way out, I also saw this basket. This was reduced to £20, but I thought the weave on this was actually quite unique and a little bit different. Right, I am back home, um, sat in front of my new TV wall in the lounge. Um, by the way, Thank you so much for all of the support on that video. Um, I feel like when I signed it off, I sounded really negative, um, but I think I was just really frustrated. I just found like the project was quite difficult to do by myself, um, which was really silly of me to think that it wouldn't have been. But yeah, thank you so much. I've got so many lovely comments and yeah, just really, really appreciate it because I feel like when, when I did it, I was like, I don't even know if I like it, but I absolutely love it now. And it's really changed the vibe in here. Like when we watch movies and stuff, it's just far more kind of cozy. Um, and a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see a lounge kind of mini transformation as well. So I am planning that. It is coming at some point. This girl's just got to save up and get some sick decor because I also want to go on holiday, you know, balance. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run you through what I got. Um, I hope the bits that I did film were all right. At the end, I feel like my filming did get shoddy because I was desperate for a wee. Um, so it is what it is, but I'm gonna show you what I got anyway. First thing I'm gonna show you, I'm not actually gonna keep. Um, I got this for a specific area and it's not the right size. So I showed this to you when I was actually in the store. Let me step back with it. So one thing that I'm trying to do, I've been watching so many like interior design vlogs and stuff and hello darling. Um, one thing I want to do is add a bit more like color and texture. When I say color, I don't mean like bright colors, more like natural colors. Um, I've said this so many times, but I don't, I don't really get drawn towards stuff that's really colorful. As you can see from this whole room, um, me and Steve are the same where we like all the kind of like whites and greys and blacks. That's kind of like our vibe, but I want to start introducing more kind of like natural colors, a bit more texture. Rocky, please, come on. Look, there you go. Um, so I got this runner for a little project that I'm gonna be working on in the near future. I won't tell you what it is because I don't wanna spoil it but it's just a little bit too small, but I just thought this was absolutely stunning. Look at all the different colors, the different patterns, textures, just everything, love it. Um, so this is a Balthazar, it's in the Balthazar collection, it's an accent rug, um, and size-wise it's 68.5 centimeters by 114, and for the space I wanna put it in, it literally just looked ridiculously tiny, but this, would look so cute in literally anywhere like bedroom, you could put it in a bathroom. Um, I like, dude, come on. Um, literally just anywhere. And the price on this was 13 pounds. And I have been Googling away and trying to find something really similar to this 
a lot of stuff that I've seen online is far more expensive and I did show you a few other ones that I did like but some of them were like 40 quid and I was like nah that's not gonna happen but I do like this I'm gonna send it back because I don't have anywhere that I want to put this kind of style rug that it would be the right size so I'm going to take that one back which is a shame but I literally need it like twice the size. I knew it would be a little bit small but I didn't, it's, it's way too small. And also um, it smells really weird, that's why Rocky's like obsessed with it. Okay next up, by the way um, I said, oh I'll show you these first actually, um, so obviously I said to you earlier in the car I went in for two things, syrup and cutlery didn't find any cutlery that I found really cool like gold stuff but it just wouldn't go with what we have in the kitchen um and then all the silver stuff was just a little bit blah which I'm just looking at all of the silver stuff and I feel like it all looks blah but I don't know why I'm thinking that but then I'm looking at all the gold and the black stuff and I'm like ooh. but I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do anyone who if you have any recommendations about really nice cutlery that's not expensive I don't want to spend loads on it um it's just everyday stuff but I just I don't know everything just looks a little bit basic bitch and I mean our current cutlery is basic bitch so maybe we'll just match I don't know but anyway so I didn't get any cutlery but I got syrup so these are the syrups I was telling you guys about they have so many different like makes and brands and stuff you have to be careful because not all of them are sugar free if you are looking for sugar free so I got a caramel pecan um which Steve said he didn't want any but I know he'll have some so he likes caramel and then I also got hazelnut as well so I just have this like in my coffee at the weekends just to make it feel more of like a Starbucks coffee do you know what I mean like a bit more a bit different um so I got those and those were how much were they 3.99 and 3.99 but the bottles are huge they're 750 milliliters um and I, I have little glass bottles that I just pour it into that has a pump so I literally just pump it into my coffee um like they do at Starbucks and yeah it lasts me forever okay next up so I saw this in the vase section I did show this to you guys um and I just thought I really like obviously you know guys know I like black and stuff so um the kitchen's another room that I want to do like a little mini transformation at the moment because it's just a bit blah um but we have a new Nespresso coffee machine and I wanted something really nice to put the pods in at the moment I have just like a black plastic I think it's actually a plant pot it's like a black plastic vessel to put them in but I thought putting them in something like this would just look really nice on the side so you've got your coffee machine all the pods in there and we've got one of those frothy things as well so this was six pounds for a vase i guess you, i guess it is big enough for a vase i normally tend to gravitate towards bigger vases um but it's a smaller vase but i thought that would be really really sweet i did have a look at all of the kind of um coffee canisters and stuff like that but i specifically wanted something black um but i thought this would still fit in with what i'm going for but it's not as boring as just plain black Okay, so next up, another random buy, but it was in the clearance, so I had to get it. I got this wicker tray in this really nice black colour. I'd actually been thinking about doing um, a kind of upcycle of something similar, but this tray was only £5, and I thought by the time that I like find a tray that I like in a charity shop, a thrift store, whatever, it probably wouldn't be that much cheaper. Um, I know in America, like all the thrift stores seem to be so cheap, but in England, like all the charity shops, it's like some of the stuff's really not that cheap. So I just thought, you know what? Let's just get the finished product. It looks so nice and this would be great. I might put it on my like dining room table and put some like, just a few things, maybe like some coasters and um, like some plants and stuff like that. Or I was also thinking I could put it on my coffee table because I've got um, a shelf like underneath. Put it down there and again you could put your coasters, like a plant, your TV remotes and use it as something just to keep like everything organised. I'm just, I love a tray. I feel like it kind of, whenever you have like mess on a side, it just kind of like brings everything together and makes it look organised even if it's not. So massive fan of that. 
This is one that was actually, it's handcrafted in Vietnam. This is why I love HomeSense because the stuff just feels so much more unique um, than if you were to go to like a normal shop. Do you like? Of course he likes. God, you're so needy. You're so needy today, huh? Huh? I know. Right, okay, another thing. I picked up so I obviously talked to you guys through the art section and everything and there was so much of that kind of um I think they call it like liquid art or like fluid art or something like that fluid art sounds a bit weird um but that kind of like marbly paint effect and I saw loads of that stuff in there today absolutely love it and I have actually recently bought loads of stuff to do that and try it out myself so I've been oh you're right mate um, so I've been trying it on paper, but obviously it doesn't really work as well when you put a lot of paint on paper like that. It doesn't, it kind of crinkles up a bit. So I saw these, they had quite a few different canvases. They had a lot of thick ones, but the reason I like this is it's a lot thinner than a usual canvas. So, um, this was $4.99. The price tag on it says $5.99, but it's in euros for some reason. So she had to like, I don't know, convert it. Um, so yeah, a 40 by 50 canvas for 4 99 I just thought, yeah, I'll just get one, try it out, see if I do like it or not, or if I want to continue doing it, and then I can always get a few more canvases, because I love that kind of, like, art, but there's, I don't want to throw any shade at someone who is an artist, but I always feel like, oh, I think I could, like, do that. It wouldn't look anywhere near as good, but I feel like I could do that, and... You know, I feel like you get that kind of, you get a better feeling about something when you've done it yourself, you're more pride, pride in it, rather than if you just bought it from a shop. Um, yeah, if you could kind of say, well, I made that myself, you just get that more of a warm, fussy feeling. That's what I'm going for. Anyway, one more thing. I, oh my gosh, I ha really had to refrain myself in the whole shop, but, oh, look at that lighting. Bam. Um, yeah, the whole, I mean, the whole time I was in there, by the way, that's probably, like, the best time I've ever been to HomeSense. Does that make sense? I've never seen so much amazing stuff for amazing prices in there. Normally, I can find, like, a few things that I like, and then there are some things where I'm a bit like, oh, I like that, but, you know, but there's so much stuff that I wanted to take home, and I committed, and I even got a trolley as well, so... I really had to refrain. I like text Steve and I was like, help, I need help. Um, so I saw there was like a silver kind of, it was like a bamboo, it was like a circle mirror with a bamboo kind of frame, but it was silver bamboo. I was so close to getting that. I really struggled to get it out and some guy actually helped me and I felt really bad because he'd helped me and then I walked away from it. But anyway, I did end up getting this one. So it's just a black kind of 3D box frame. There's a reason why I specifically wanted this one because I'm potentially gonna use it to kind of cover something up, but I don't wanna say because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I need to see again if it's the right size, if it's gonna work for what I wanna do with it. So I don't know yet um, and I don't wanna give away what I'm gonna do, so sorry. Sorry for being so vague and irritating, but it is what it is. Um, I was hoping that you weren't going to see all of like the mess in the background, but oh well. So this was 20 quid, and it's a decent size actually. I mean, really nice kind of like bathroom mirror size, or if you've got like a dressing table, anything like that. And I love that kind of thinner, um, it's like a thin edge to it along here. I know it's boxy there, but it's thin on the front. So really nice kind of modern look. Really excited, I hope this fits the space that I wanna put it in. With HomeSense, I feel like sometimes you can't go in thinking, I wanna get this. Um, you kind of have to go in with an open mind and just think, whatever I see that I like, I need to buy. And that is it. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps support my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss a video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.